York one game, 43.7 remaining. Stanford, what they've not been able to manufacture, which they did against Arizona, is a steal. No, they haven't got a steal. Uh, they, I, I'm sure right now Mike Montgomery's saying, look, guys, you know, still plenty of time, but let's pick them up full court. You may want to go a pass or two before you go ahead and foul. Try to steal first. And, of course, strategically, I'm sure you try to direct the fouls towards one guy, but you may not have that luxury once the clock starts to run and you get inside of 30 seconds. Well, again, Stanford and St. Joe's trying to do something that hasn't been done since 1976, and this was the Indiana Hoosiers who finished their season perfectly. And Stanford right now 43.7 seconds away from having that dream dashed and leading only St. Joe's as a hopeful. Another Kent Benson and Quinn Buckner up. What, what a good team. What, what a, well, Maine. they thought they were better. They thought they were better the year before. That's right. Remember in 75, they had, they had an injury, and they thought they were better then than they were in 76. Marcus Moore to inbound, looking for somebody. Runs the baseline, finally gets it in, and off the hands of Schlatter out of bounds to Stanford. Well, there is the thing that Stanford has been looking for, and now the Cardinal with 43.1 seconds has an opportunity. And you got to have the poise and patience now for the Cardinal try to get it back in Hernandez's hands. And they do zone now. And it goes zone to try to say, oh, how about that pass? And blocked by Baron, but goaltender. Give the basket to Nick Robinson. What a play by Hernandez. Even against the zone, able to penetrate and find the open guy. Well, now it is a two-point game, and still, now time's really not a factor. Moore has to run the baseline, try to get it in again, to get it into Shammy Gill, a foul, and Gill's the best free throw shooter on the team. Shammy Gill. 82% at the line, but he's never had one as important as this one. Yeah, and a double bonus, so Shammy Gill will get a chance uh, to get it off of one possession. Stanford electing to go with the quick foul just to stop the clock. Well, it's not so much the first one as the second one that's important here for Shammy Gill. As the first, three-point game. And I think now, if this one goes down, the mindset for Stanford and it doesn't. It, it's still two. I was going to say, if it goes down, then you might be thinking of a three, but they still have plenty of time. And this is what Hernandez has been able to do. That doesn't happen very well. That rarely happens. Hernandez trying to break it down. Barham had it bounce off his body, but it came back and then went off Hernandez. So now 31 seconds left. They're going to have to go foul again. The baseball pass for Kalati, and it's knocked away by Lodic. Kalati trying to save him. Does. Well, how about that? Great it. play. And you know, a proactive move by Washington State. Over the top when they're pressing you. Let's try to score. Not conservative. Let's take a chance, and it paid off. This is a move you like to make on occasion. If you've got a guy that can run the floor and a good move by Washington State, a great save by Kalati yeah. to get it back in. Sure was. Barham at the line. Uh, has it. Four-point game, two possessions again. Dick Bennett saying, everybody off the line, get back, play defense. Gets him back. 25 seconds left. Now Stanford's got to hurry. Yeah, you got to think three. Huh? Got to think three. Threes. They're kicking out for Grunfeld. Grunfeld has Time it. out. Time out. Ooh, did they foul? They might have gotten a foul here, too. I believe they did. And Grunfeld now is going to go to the line. Count the basket. And Grunfeld, a chance for a four-point play. And it was the right call. Absolutely the right call. Well, Barham flew at Grunfeld. How about this shot? Is this a huge shot? And then he runs into him. After the play, you know, they could actually call this if they say they it was after, that you could call this, they're going to say it was during the act of shooting, which I think could be a break. If you fouled them after the ball went in, it could be two shots. So Stanford, don't go anywhere yet. Maybe there is a little magic left. Grunfeld rattles it in. How do you like this? How do you like it? It's a one-point game, 17.4 left. I think the fans had chalked this one up in the W column about 30 seconds ago. Remember Chris Hernandez saying after the Oregon game, he was just done in. He was absolutely exhausted. How do you suppose he feels now? Yeah, if they come back and win this, especially after being down almost the entire second half, 
mean, what a tribute to the Cardinal. They still have plenty of time right now. But now you, you do have to foul. But if, if you're Stanford, maybe go for the steal on one or two passes. Then you got to look to make a quick foul. 17.4 seconds remaining to be played in a game. It is a one-point ball game. Washington State has led almost from the start of the second half. They were down at the half by three, but they jumped on Stanford early in the second half. Stanford went seven minutes with but one field goal in the middle of the second half. And yet, even though they were down six, if memory serves with 24 seconds, I want to say, remaining in the game, they were down six. It is now a one-point game. Oregon State seemingly will defeat UCLA, which would be a big win for the Beavers. Not nearly as big as Washington State's beating Stanford, should they do it now. Yeah, and, and the big thing right now for, for the Cougars is, look, we better set up our best out-of-bounds play, and if they had their druthers, they want to get Jeff Barham 43 with the ball, because, and when he gets it, all he's got to do is hold it because Stanford will probably foul right away. So out of bounds critical, Hernandez will wild card and not defend the ball, look for a quick steal. Moore tries to get it into Kalati, can't uh -oh. do it. Runs the baseline, oh, five, five seconds, yes! Five oh, seconds! How about it? How do you Can like you that? believe it? When they had a habit, they got it. And Marcus Moore is arguing that he called the timeout. I, I don't believe he did. Mike Montgomery will hustle Rob Little into the game. Marcus Moore is saying that he that they called that he called for a 30 it, it, second but, timeout, but it was not recognized. So out of bounds, it will go to the. How about seven seconds ago? They were down six. They get it into Rob Luke, and now into the hands of Hernandez. 13-12. Stanford looks like they're just going to play for the win. Hernandez lost the handle. Was picked up by Lonnie. Loose ball. Diving for the ball. Lonnie gets it to Robinson. You got three seconds. Lonnie's got to take a shot. He fires it up. just scored eight points in the last 20 seconds of the game to win it. Well, why not? It's been like this all year. The magic, the magic is there. Continues for the Stanford Cardinal. Truly unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, the fans have to, they're throwing things on the floor. This, yeah, this was a tremendous college basketball game. Don't ruin it. Truly remarkable. A magnificent comeback. Matt Lodick falling out of bounds, drills a three, and they won by two. They didn't win by one. They won by two. It was easy. Well, you thought it was going to be a one-point game. They won by two. Truly remarkable. And this one, honestly, Stanford, we said this earlier, was on its heels. It was on its heels and, and about ready to, to just spit the bit. And guess what? One of those years. It, it is one of those years. And then I mean, how many times Christian have they said, done? This is the fourth time to my memory that they came back and won late in the second half. Now, this one, for all intents and purposes, I, I thought they had no chance to win this game and had great presence of mind at the end to find the right guy with the ball. And Dick Robinson, I thought, was under control. He didn't force it. All he did was get it to maybe the best, one of the best perimeter shooters in the country. And that line. And you know the other thing, it? if we have another chance to see that shot, the other thing about it was Matt Lattick got pushed as he shot the ball. You easily could have made a case for a foul on that shot. But you're not going to call a foul late in the game. That, that no, but it made, the, it made the fact that the shot went in that much more remarkable. It sure did. Sure and, and we said this earlier, if it's not one guy, it's another for Stanford. And, and now it's Matt Lodick that steps up. And you got to give credit to these Washington State Cougars. I'm sure they will find nothing in the way of a moral victory here. But, but in truth, it was. Isn't this what college basketball is all about? What, what, a, what a magnificent game. Both clubs should be commended. But what a comeback by the Stanford Cardinal to remain undefeated. Who to thunk it? Who to thunk it? Nobody. Stanford wins it 63 61 they remain number one they remain undefeated and if there's anybody more disappointed than the Washington State Cougars it's the St. Joe's Hawks Stanford wins we're coming back
It was a great game, no question. Got a lot of help from, from all the boys.